hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WDW Magazine here to take you on another magical escape. I am coming to you today from Disneyland Park in California where I am trying several of the specialty Halloween snacks that are available resort-wide during the Halloween season here at Disneyland. My first official stop here on the Halloween snack trail that I am creating for myself here at Disneyland is in Toontown. I am at Cafe Daisy in Toontown where I got Daisy's Goody Goody Donuts. They are apple cider donuts with cinnamon sugar on them. Five donuts came in the bag. I'm gonna give them a try and see what this very first Halloween time snack is all about. All right, Daisy's Goody Goody Donuts from Cafe Daisy here in Toontown. I liked them overall. I thought they were very good. I was afraid when I saw many donuts that they were going to be really oily and over fried. Like I've gotten donuts at like state fairs and county fairs and when you bite into them, you could see that like thick oil ring around the outside. That was not the case at all here. These were really cakey and you could see the crumb structure on the inside when you bit into them. Really tasty, really dense and a nice chew to them. The cinnamon sugar on the outside was plentiful. If you could see in the shot, it definitely is all over my fingers and stuck to me in a really good way. You want that cinnamon sugar on the outside of an apple cider donut. And the apple cider flavor really, really came through. That was the first thing that I tasted when I bit into it. I thought that the cinnamon sugar kind of came in a little bit later to round out the flavor, but it was very apple cidery up front. They were served warm, which I liked too. Here they are, again, just for size. They are very small. We got five in the bag and for the price of $6.29, I think it was. Um, you got five donuts that are this size for $6.29. I wish you got a couple more for that price because they are really, really tasty. Would I get them again despite the price? Yes, I would. I really like them, and I like that they're served a little bit warm and are definitely being made fresh here. I'm here in Disney California Adventure. I love how easy it is here in Disneyland to just walk from park to park. I'm in California Adventure for my next Halloween time snack. I grabbed the garlic cream cheese bread. It is available in several of the different kiosks around the park. I'm here in Plaza de Familia, and that is where I grabbed it right here at the cart inside of Plaza de Familia. The description is sweet bread with cream cheese topped with hot honey. First thing I will say about it is when I got it, it was really, really warm to the touch and the entirety of the plastic container that it was in was actually steamed up because of the heat. It is important to note that Disneyland is having a heat wave right now. It is 97 degrees outside right now. And this thing was still really hot to the touch, still steamed up when I opened it. So it was served very hot and very fresh. I went to grab a piece of it out and it collapsed in my fingers. That is how fresh these rolls are. And I would consider this bread, the bread portion, to be like a Parker House roll. So if you're familiar with a Parker House roll, sometimes they have a sweet butter or a honey butter on them when they're served. That's exactly what this bread reminded me of. But the freshest and softest version of a Parker House roll that you could imagine. And I will be the first person to scream from the rooftops, I hate cream cheese. I hate cream cheese. You will never catch me eating a bagel with cream cheese. I think the texture is weird. I, I am not a cream cheese person and I am thoroughly enjoying this bread. There's not a ton of cream cheese coming out of it, but it's giving a nice, almost buttered texture to the whole thing. And it's giving it a bit of a creaminess, but it's not an overwhelming texture. So if you're like me and you're texturally put off by cream cheese, definitely give this a try because it did not put me off at all. I'm actually really enjoying the cream cheese portion of it. There's a lot of garlic flavor coming from it. I'm not getting hot honey. The bread is definitely sweet, but I'm not getting, I didn't get any type of spice. So if you're hoping for spice, this is not the one for you. But if you have an aversion to spice, don't be necessarily put off by hot honey because it's, it's not very hot. The heat that's coming from it is from being cooked. It's from stove heat, not spice heat. I could sit here and probably eat this whole thing by myself. I'm not going to, but that's how much I'm enjoying it. It's fresh, it's hot. The rolls literally do collapse when you pick them up. And I mean that in a really, really good way. That's just how fresh and soft they are. And for the price point here, I think this is a good portion. It's heavy in the container. It's definitely shareable. I have two people here with me today. I'm more than sharing it with two people. I even think you could probably share it among three or four, especially if you're splitting and sharing a bunch of different snacks like we're doing here today in California Adventure. But so far, I'm really, really enjoying this one. This is a fantastic savory option and a hearty snack for in between mealtime. I give it two thumbs up. Cars Land in Disney California Adventure has yet another Halloween seasonal offering, the slow burning cone of mac and cheese. This features pasta, mac and cheese pasta with chili cheese sauce and chili cheese puffs on top of it, served in one of the famous cones from Cars Land. 
This is called the Slow Burning, and it is definitely living up to its name here with the slow, steady build of the spices that I'm getting. That's the first thing that I noticed about it is there definitely is a little bit of a kick to it here, which is great. It does say that it is in chili cheese sauce, and chili being the key word there in that phrase. It is not just regular basic mac and cheese sauce with like chili flakes in it. They actually have a chili flavor in the mac and cheese sauce itself. So the little puffs on top definitely provide a little bit of a nice crunch to it, but the chili flavor is in that cheese. It's not just regular mac and cheese sauce. The chili flavor is packed in there and it does slowly build more and more and more with the spices as you eat it. It's not an overwhelming spice. I have a decent tolerance to spice and didn't make my nose run or anything like that, but it is a warm day today and it is definitely living up to its name with spice. So if you have an aversion to spice, probably steer clear of this one. The thing I really liked about it is that it was loaded with the cheese sauce. As we were eating through the cone, cone which was a little bit on the chewy side at the very, very top, it got nice and soft as we kept eating it. But as I was eating through the cone, I noticed that there was cheese throughout the entirety of it. The pasta was not dry and that little bit of, in my opinion, extra cheese that was in there helped with the breadiness of that cone. If it was a kind of a drier cheese, it wouldn't have worked as well. But somehow, even though it was filled with cheese sauce and there was more and more of that chili cheese sauce as we ate through it, it never leaked out the sides or the bottom of the cone. So it was a hefty cone that held up really, really nicely for us. I enjoyed this. I love the fact that you get a cone of mac and cheese from the cozy cones in Cars Land. And of course, there's a bit of a novelty to it, but it's definitely a spicy item. It's shareable. It's very, very filling. I got it for lunch and I'm full for sure. So good option there from Cars Land for Halloween. Very cute. If you come here to the Cozy Cone Motel during Halloween season, peer inside of the lobby because they have, check it out, a tribute to the Bates Motel called the Breaks Motel, all black and white like the movie. That's awesome. Got another seasonal item here in Disney's California Adventure from the Cappuccino Cart. This is the peanut butter cold brew. It is a Halloween seasonal item. And this came with peanut butter infused cold brew with a cold foam on top and it was topped with Reese's Pieces candy. When I first took a sip of this, I just sipped it as it was served. It was not combined with the cold foam on top and it was so strong. There's no alcohol in this version. There is a version that you could get with alcohol. It was so strong, the coffee was so strong that it almost tasted alcoholic. Then I swallowed it and a nice peanut butter aftertaste came into it, but I knew that I then had to mix it after that first sip because it was just so strong and none of that cold foam was mixed in. So I spent a good couple minutes stirring and mixing and mixing it in, and it's definitely much more balanced now. I am a black coffee, maybe sometimes with oat milk person. So sweet coffees are not usually my thing. And even after this one was mixed in together, I still don't think it is overly sweet for a peanut butter cold brew that has candy on top of it. I still don't somehow think it's that sweet. Just to show you, I also got a regular cold brew with oat milk. That's how much I usually prefer just regular coffee in case I didn't like this. I'm here with my husband today and he is definitely a little bit of a sweeter coffee guy. He loves this. He said it absolutely needed to be mixed in together. And he said that after he mixed it together, and I totally agree with him, the creaminess really came through in the coffee. So when you drink this peanut butter one versus just their regular cold brew, it's much more creamy on the mouthfeel when you swallow it. And it has almost like a melted milkshake consistency to it, in my opinion. And I really like that about it. The candies kind of all fell to the bottom. So if you're hoping to eat those, eat them before you mix it. I did not think to do that. So that's a tip for you here on that. I like this a lot. I, the coffee flavor definitely still comes through. You can really taste the peanut butter and it is very creamy of a drink, but Disneyland tip for you. I brought my own silicone reusable straw because if you're like me and don't like paper straws, that's all you're gonna find are paper straws at these kiosks. So little Disneyland hack, bring a reusable straw if you don't like paper like me. Would I get this one again? Yeah, I would. And I'm sure this would pair excellently with any of the breakfast paper at the cappuccino card too. Here in the lobby of Disney's Cran Californian Hotel, they have a really, really cute and fully stocked Halloween pop-up shop. I'm gonna grab a treat from here. Gingerbread is not something usually associated with Halloween. However, Disneyland Resort is known for their gingerbread. If you've ever visited around Christmas time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're known for it. So the fact that they're offering a Disneyland gingerbread here in the shape of a pumpkin for Halloween made me want to go with that option, and I did. I picked him up. He was $10. He's a decent-sized gingerbread cookie, definitely shareable here, and the first thing that hit me when I opened the bag was the smell. 
This thing is spiced to the max. Gingerbread, molasses cookies, all those cookies associated with holiday spices and flavors always usually have a really nice spice blend. And this one is very pungent. As soon as I took it out of the bag, I smelled it. I broke apart the cookie and took a bite of it. And the spices were the very first thing that I tasted. It's very nice and spiced. If you're looking for an approachable gingerbread, if you don't like that spice in a cookie, definitely this one is not for you. And if you like a crunchy gingerbread, like a ginger snap, this one's not for you either. This is very, very soft very easy to break apart honestly it almost falls apart when you pick it up depends on how you pick it up it might break in half and to me it just tastes like either some royal icing or some buttercream i think it's royal icing making up the jack-o-lantern shape and his face is made of some milk chocolate the eyes nose and mouth this is very good like i said i really like gingerbread disneyland's known for their gingerbread this is a fantastic in my opinion iteration of it and i love that it's available outside of the christmas season the Grand Californian in and of itself though, even if you're not in the market for a Halloween snack, which this was very good, you should try it if you come, they have an awesome, awesome chocolate display there in the lobby of the Evil Queen. She's over her cauldron, she's got her candy apple, really cool trees around her from the forest. So the Grand Californian itself is worth a visit during the Halloween season. Whether you want something from the pop-up shop or not, they have tons of options there. And I would get this cookie again, definitely. And I think it's great also if you wanna take home. I'm here at Craftsman Grill at Disney California Adventure. It is the pool bar. It's located just adjacent to the pool. I grabbed a walk-up first come first serve seat at the bar. When they're available, you can do that too. Otherwise, you can scan a QR code or head into the Disneyland app to see what the availability is. They have a Halloween drink on the menu. Dark comes the night is Buffalo Trace, ginger liqueur, lemon juice, honey, ginger ale, and bitters. And it is served in a rocks glass, like an old fashioned glass. And it comes garnished with a ginger candy and this drink is extremely well balanced. The first thing I noticed is the slight, slight bitterness from the lemon juice. The honey absolutely mellowed that out, although not a prominent flavor, there is a bit of sweetness to it. And the reason that I ordered this drink is because it's kind of a take on a mule in addition to kind of being served like an old fashioned. The, there's ginger ale in this one instead of ginger beer. I personally don't like ginger beer, but I really like bourbon. So the Buffalo Trace and the fact that this had ginger ale instead of a ginger beer to it caught my attention. The flavors are all really balanced. I really am enjoying it here it's a really warm day here today and it's really nice to sit out here and sip as for the garnishes on the dark comes the night drink there is a ginger candy on it and also an orange and the orange actually has a little bit of sweetness to it it is definitely it is a dried orange so it's hard and i don't think it's meant to be eaten but it has a sweetness to it so i pushed it down in my drink and hopefully let a little bit of that dissolve into the drink and the ginger candy itself on top is very granulated you can really taste the granules of ginger and sugar in it i don't mean that in a bad way just to mean that it's ultra fresh with the sugar and ginger and i can really taste the both of those ingredients and you can really tell that in the texture it just is those two things in that candy Rounding out the best of the best Halloween snacks at Disneyland Resort, I picked up the pumpkin spice fritters from Royal Street Veranda in New Orleans Square. These were served hot. You get three of them, which honestly for the price point, I thought they could have given you a few more. However, they were extremely dense and quite a good size. They almost reminded me of like a Zeppoli Italian donut. If you've ever had those, the size and texture and the light fry reminded me of those. Now take those, make them extremely dense, add some very clearly fresh pumpkin flavor to it. You can tell that there was actual pumpkin puree used in it because they were orange in the center and give it a fantastically sweet dipping sauce and you have these pumpkin spice fritters. I do wish there were a couple more for the price, but oh my goodness, these were so good. I think they were better than the Daisy's donuts for the price point especially. And I would absolutely get these again. These were a fantastic way to round out my night before I watched Fantasmic. But that is going to do it for me here. This Halloween season at Disneyland Resort. If you're planning to visit Disneyland Resort this Halloween season, are you picking up any of these snacks that we showed in this video? If so, leave us a comment. Let us know which ones you got. And if you tried any other ones that you really liked, leave that in the comments below as well. Thanks for following along, everyone. My name is Maria, and I will see you in the next Magical Escape. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic.